Hey, welcome back. We're looking at the last pieces in the book of Malachi this morning as we're finishing our devotional series on Malachi. Today we're in Malachi chapter 4, and we're going to look now at the next section, which is verses 4 to 6. Chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. 4 says, Remember the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Okay, so let's just take that in for a minute. Remember the law. Oh, but wait a minute. So many people have talked that the law is a bad thing. The law is a terrible thing. We can't be saved by uh, obeying. We can't be saved by our works. We can't be saved by the good things that we do because every good thing we do is tainted and all that. Well, let me tell you, according to what the Bible actually does teach, it's true. We cannot be saved by any good works that we do. Okay, so hopefully we're all clear about that. There's no good works you or I can do that will save us. And yet, there is the law. And the law is described with the same terms that God has described. It is righteous, it is holy, it is described as just, it is described as good. These are all ways that God himself is, his character is described, and this is the way his law is described in various scriptures across the Bible. So it says here, remember the law of Moses, my servant. Remember, these priests, as we've been going through the book of Malachi, we found that these priests were indifferent, they were just kind of, very lazy about their tasks. They were, their heart really wasn't in it. They were having trouble being servants of the Most High God. And so what do we have here is a warning to them. Remember to do what you're supposed to do. And of course, as priests and, and, and a priesthood of believers, what should all of us do? We should encourage people to do what God says, do what the Bible teaches. And part of that teaching is, for example, a God's Ten Commandment Law, which kind of is an, a thumbnail sketch of his character. If you put Jesus here and you put the Ten Commandments here, you'd find they were very much the same. Would Jesus ever steal? Would Jesus ever commit adultery? Would Jesus... Uh, keep the Sabbath? Yes. Would he honor his father and mother? Yes. You can go through the whole set of Ten Commandments, and we find that that's, uh, Jesus is the enfleshment of that. He is, he is what that looks like when it's lived out, and he wants us to live it out the same way. No, we're not saved by that. We're saved by Jesus. But it's interesting to see here that at the last, God is calling his people to do what? To uphold his law. Very important piece. And so neglected truth in our day but still very, very important nonetheless. Would America be a better place, just for those of you who are with me here in America, if there was no adultery, if there was no stealing, if there was no killing? Anywhere would be a better place without those terrible pieces. So this is, this is what God wants, and this is the way it's going to be in eternity. We should begin to get used to it, get into a habit of not killing, adulterating, or stealing, and so on. The Ten Commandments, you know them. Right here, remember the law of Moses. Can we do that? We're not saved by it. We're saved by Jesus. But let's be in his purpose. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, as we're looking at your word, we want to be right. Again, today we're touching on some things that are popularly uh, reduced. People don't, nobody wants to say, well, we're, we want to uphold the Ten Commandments. And yet we find that your law is very, very important. It is a, equal to your character. It is a description, at least a, a limited description of your entire character of love. So Lord, bless us by growing us heavenward, and may we be in full harmony with all of your, your law, your Ten Commandments. May our character come to be more and more like your character as you transform and change us and forgive us. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So friends, God has a special and a powerful purpose for us. Let's not miss it. Let's get it right. Hey, have a wonderful day. May God be with you as you serve him this day.